The film started really with um, had a, a number of, of beginnings. One was uh, conversations I was having with uh, Elliot Gould, who um, uh, I had worked with on a previous film, and we were talking about possibly doing something improvisational, and this was a wonderful idea. I, it really, uh, bells went off for me, uh, because Elliot is so well known for his uh, improvisational work with Robert Altman, so that was a very uh, exciting opportunity. At the same time, it was a really um, a difficult time for my family because uh, my parents had been living in the same house for close to 50 years. My uh, mother had Alzheimer's and it was getting worse, and we were facing uh, the strong, or the likelihood and even inevitability of moving her out of the house at that same time. And uh, there were questions about whether my father would stay in the house or move. Um, and the decision had been taken that they would leave the house. And uh, this was something uh, very dramatic uh, for them and for uh, their children. Dad, don't you think it would be better if you got some kind of regular exercise? I mean, you know, therapeutic exercise? If you lived in the city, all that stuff would be, would be so easy. Oh, is it time for our vodka? Fine. They were loosely characters based on my family. Um, the father was loosely based on my father. And, uh, by chance, uh, not at all planned, my mother had passed away less than uh, six weeks before we began shooting. So we were in the house where my parents had lived, and it was uh, quite, a, quite a dramatic situation for me. We were able to shoot in sequence and so it became much more actor-centered. They were able to develop the story as they went along. Also as a filmmaker I was aware of the kind of camera work we were doing and the kind of, of uh, changes of pace, tempo uh, that I could work into it. So it was really a wonderfully um, cathartic experience for me on, on many levels. Originally I started with the seven pages. Each weekend I wound up writing the next act, so it was three weeks, uh, one act per week, and each Sunday I'd write the following week's act. And um, improvisation came to mean largely the, the attitude of the uh, actors towards the work. They felt free to shape it, so to speak, uh, so it wasn't that there was no script, it was just that they could, in a sense, felt free to shape it. I'm not going. Oh. Dad, you got to at least try. Elliot and I had worked together on a film uh, we did in 2006, uh, and, uh, which I directed, uh, which he co-starred with Frank Langella and Laura Herring, and I had written it with him in mind. And he, it was always Elliot. There was never an idea that I was going to go out and cast anyone else in that role. It was a great ensemble uh, work. I mean, uh, Elliot is by far the best known of the actors. His son, who's this kind of uh, a bit of a schmuck, as I say, filmmaker, uh, was played by Fred Melamed, uh, who's a wonderful actor known for uh, the Coen Brothers films, Woody Allen, but particularly for uh, his role in The Serious Man. And uh, uh, the daughter, Stephanie Roth Haberly, the mother, Jude Roberts. Uh, the, the caretaker, who was wonderful, it was her first performance ever in a film, of the Miso Idofia. And the, and the girl, the, the daughter of, of the, the daughter of the daughter, uh, uh, Ariana Altman. No relation to Robert Altman. You know, there's moments in the acting that I just find uh, incredibly genuine. And, uh, it's great to get uh, the feedback from the audience that people, you, you feel successful that you've transmitted something and uh, that's a wonderful feeling and I think it's largely due to the work of the actors and the cinematographer Valentina Caniglia who did a great job. For the first time I was operating the camera, I was operating second camera, I wanted to be physically involved in that way. Every Monday everyone would have read the script for the first time. So I mean I knew I had at least a dozen avid readers every Monday morning and whoever was there uh, getting breakfast next to me I'd ask them what they thought of the script and they'd give me a few notes and I'd think about them. So it was a very fluid ensemble uh, kind of uh, production. 
I think over the course of making now four uh, independent films, uh, which have a certain uh, auteur quality, I've hopefully become a little more comfortable about what that means, a little more able to uh, let the process have a, a more relaxed feel to it. So Oedipus was very depressed. And his friend said, Oedipus, you need a vacation. There are a number of Greek stories that are told in the film from ancient uh, Greece. I really hadn't given it much thought. You know, they kind of came in there naturally. Um, and they seemed integral to how I could tell the story. I mean, they're universal stories. My, my interest in Greek culture really went back to being uh, my grandfather uh, paid for me to go to the Ionian village in Greece. I'm not Greek Orthodox, so that was, I, I had to kind of fake that. Uh, but it was an amazing experience for me. I studied, started studying ancient Greek then and continued studying uh, ancient Greek through uh, graduate school. Um, have stayed very um, committed to the Greek American community. And um, it's in the sense of a, of a new humanism. I think of Greek culture as being universal. And I don't really worry about it as an identity so much as a kind of ethic. the movie business. I mean, it's all about the small screen now, you know, downloads and all that kind of thing. 